So Jeremiah, as you know, filmmaking is part of the Canadian DNA. We are all addicted to filmmaking. And you, sir, have achieved the dream. You became the Hollywood-based movie director. How does it feel? It feels good to have a, uh, a career mm -hmm. that has lasted as long as mine mm -hmm. in a consistent way. Mm -hmm. Being able to wake up every day and know that that is what I am, that is what I do. Mm. Uh, without question. So it's also as much about my own identity mm. as it is about uh, anything else. Good. My next question is what is next on your plate? What are you doing now in other words? Oh, what am I doing now? I'm here in Montreal working on a, uh, a remake for American television mm. of a BBC series mm. called Being Human. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And Starring? Anybody we know? No, it's all uh, young and relatively unknown actors okay. um, that play what we'd consider afflicted 20-somethings. Beautiful. But meanwhile, you have worked with major stars. I remember Oma in The Avengers. I remember uh, Johnny Depp, of course, in that wonderful film, uh, Benny and uh, June, June, right? June. June. Yeah. And uh, Connery. Uh, Sean Connery, Sean Connery, one of our greatest heroes. How was it working with them? Was it intimidating? Was it fun? No, it's not intimidating. Um, for a director, um, actors are not intimidating. Mm -hmm. They are uh, collaborators. Mm -hmm. um, you work with their energy. Mm -hmm. um, if you show any kind of weakness, mm -hmm then they won't really be able to trust you. Okay. You're the leader. Right. So they, their baggage mm -hmm. of fame is as much a burden to them as not. And it also is served by media, not the process which made them famous. So when you reduce a very, very famous actor, to their moment where they have to actually perform. They're like any other actor. Um, they're looking for focus, uh, direction, intention, mm -hmm. uh, understanding, compassion, manipulation, all of those things. Now, I know that originally you were a photographer, and then you became a, a director of commercials, very famous, I remember one very famous commercial at the, during the Super Bowl, and then you were kind of I'm sure you worked for it, but you were kind of thrust into this movie milieu. Now that you think, I think, thinking back on it, would you have done anything different from uh, how you did it, uh, um, making the movies? I mean, I don't, I, I don't think that um, one can really change one's destiny that easily, mm -hmm. in retrospect or not. Sure. There are probably movies I would have done that I didn't, and others that I did that I shouldn't have done. Mm -hmm. But they all seemed like the things I should have done at that moment. They all had pressures from within and without mm -hmm. to do them. Um, and, and so it, it, it would only be a question of if I had a more gestalt kind of understanding and could look at reshaping my career, what, would have, what choices would have, I could have made different and that's probably to go into television as a medium earlier. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah Tetrick movie of record, your Titanic, what would it be? Well, I, yeah, it wouldn't be Titanic. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Some... <laughs> yeah, Titanic 2. <laughs> a shot for shot remake of Titanic. That's the one movie that cannot have a sequel, which we like a lot, you know. There are several movies, uh, some of which I have, uh, I have written. Uh, some of which that I'm enamored with. Mm. Mainly small, very specifically focused on character, and those are movies that are in various states of uh, becoming made. Starring your dream cast? No, uh, I can't say, okay. because my dream cast changes. Okay, okay. Often. Like my dreams. Like your dreams. I want to know what is your favorite all-time movie? Is there one? Yes, you? there is one. Which one? Battle of Algiers. Lovely movie, uh, legendary movie, and the cautionary tale. Something yes. Something that uh, apparently the yeah. Pentagon should show to all, all our current and, generals. And, and do. And do. Ignore it as it would be. And the reason I like this movie is it's, it's one of the 
experiences in watching it that takes me out of the realm of thinking that this movie was actually directed and written and acted. That's the amazing part. It feels so real. It is, right. it is such a bleak movie. I'm amazed to hear because you, I see you more as a maker of comedies or, uh, or uh, character-driven movies. This is a very uh, society movie Same and a political movie. You know, a very serious movie. Battle of Algiers. It's, it's not a joke, you know. So that's true. Yeah. But I, I would say that the, the movies that I have not made yet, the movies that I have yet to make, yes. or the the film that I've yet to shoot, mm. is all very political. And my my influences as much as they've come from uh, Preston Sturges, etc. Mm -hmm. I've probably also come from, from um, Franz Fanon and, mm -hmm. and, and a host of other, and, 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 and possibly, um, you know, the films like Z and the films like... Th those, like yeah, those films of the early 70s that well, were that socially dynamic. North America, but those movies shaped thinking in a way. They made yeah. a lot of things happen. I was going to ask your favorite uh, director, obviously, I guess you already named him. Preston Surges? Or? Pro, that, that could be one of my favorite directors. Okay. There are there are so many. There are many good ones. Yeah, and, and I, I, I would, you know, if I would name one, I would cheat the rest. So uh, there are so many, and okay. many of whom I know. So. Any political? Okay. <laughs> no, it's just that. really impossible okay. to say because I look at each movie. Mm. See, each movie has its own its own cellular structure mm. and, and the director is is this kind of conduit within which this dream kind of passes and is able to to grasp this energy and direct it and move it shape it fight it work with it but also what i understand director is everything in the movie i mean everything. yes and no the, the the serendipity of history the the budget the the kind of sense of um the sense of, of desperation or joy from each actor all affects how the director responds and also if the director's the kind of seed of the project or if the director comes on to the project mm. after the project is in motion all of those influence in a different yeah. way yeah. and no director has been able to make consistently great movies every time no matter how great they are you look at the work of John Ford, and you could arguably say, man's made you know ten great classic movies, but he made two hundred and fifty movies. So all of that, you know. Um, well, again, I would I would say that uh, an actor that I've worked with that I'm greatly enamored with is Johnny Depp, uh, for his kind of purity of heart and his focus. Totally my favorite. And too, yeah. and, and, and his consistency in terms of understanding what really works for him, the character, and the relationship between the character, the film, and the director. And how about a woman? Um, a woman. Possibly Isabella Gianni, a, a, a sensational actress. I love her, yeah. A wonderful uh, human, a great heart, and, and a, a, a really uh, delicate flower of a performer. Right on. Um, I have a question. Your movies are a very demanding medium, I'm writing. So is having a family, another medium that you delve in. How do you, how do you juggle the two? Because I know your kids are older now, but they were not always older. No, well, you know, I, I always like to say that my kids have fallen asleep in the best restaurants in the world. Excellent. Very good. So your restaurants is the answer. How do you juggle? All right. <laughs> we we, like we slot them around yeah, wherever we, we want. Yeah. Is there anything you would rather be doing in your life? No. Movies and TV, that's close no. enough. Uh, before you took Hollywood, you were a very successful photographer, I happen to know. And photography has been kind of trumped these days by the internet. And so what do you see as the future of that medium? Is there one? Yes, I, th I think in many ways that... Um, I would disagree that it's been trumped by the internet. I think photography is served by the internet in, in great ways. Um, I have an iPad, for example, mm -hmm. and an iPad is a superb tool for presenting photography. Mm -hmm. I think that there are more... <laughs> I think there are more... The kibbutz says There are more um, great photographers working today than ever before. I think it, it becomes easier to make photographs. 
and harder to make great ones. Absolutely, right. And what about film and TV? It is also kind of trumped by the internet. Or is it? Because we know that the internet is an insatiable appetite for content. And what is that? Motion pictures. Do you think that may be one of the futures of, of uh, uh, moving pictures? I uh, hope so. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope that the distribution, or the better term, the delivery uh -huh. of media, uh, is be it can become a more equitable. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, less controlled by... Well, it's by very anarchic, the internet, though, and it's very difficult to make money from it, so... That's a different story. True. Uh, I, I think that one could make money if one gets an audience, but one needs an audience. A large how do you, audience, yeah. How do you attract a large audience? Everything becomes a marketing problem now. You know, there are some big sellers. What do you think of YouTube? YouTube is, as you know, the I, number one I, I, outlet for anything to do with... Uh, I, I love YouTube. Yeah. Who doesn't love YouTube? Not all, all of it, so of course, some of it, yes. Well, it, There's it's, some real garbage on YouTube, of course. Yes, but YouTube as a medium. True, the as way, a medium. The, the way that, that uh, anyone can post anything on it, or almost anything, mm. uh, the fact that it's searchable and the fact that... Um, and it's accessible to everyone. You have yes. to buy a ticket. Uh, and, and that's a beautiful thing. I think the, the film, the Citizen Kane of YouTube is yet to, yet to be made. And okay. when I teach, which sometimes I do, um, I always tell my students that that future lies in front of them, that they can make the Citizen Kane it of YouTube. It lies in their little uh, iPhone. I mean, they can make the YouTube movie. That's right. Some quick questions. What is your favorite pastime, aside from making movies? Traveling. Traveling, very good. What about a favorite person from history, if there's somebody who's already dead, meaning? That I would like to meet? Meet, eat dinner with, or to be? Well, Da Vinci comes to mind. Leonardo was a good man. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 this is a man... But a bit too gay for you. Maybe a little gay for sure. me, but... Yes. Um, I, I, if I could trade my heterosexuality for his for talent, genius. I think I would go there. <laughs> Let's go, Leonardo. What about somebody who was alive today? Your favorite person um, in any of the fields? Well, that's a very interesting uh, question. It's probably someone I, I don't know who's working in some camp somewhere with Médecins Sans Frontières. Somebody benevolent, okay. Yes, well, I, I would even say that even if they're not benevolent, but somebody that is motivated by things that are greater than entertainment. Gotcha. What about a favorite vacation spot, speaking of entertainment? Oh, there are so many. Uh, Just one. Ubud, Bali. What about uh, favorite cuisine? Kogi. Trucks, trucks. <laughs> Kogi <Wakanda> trucks, LA. <laughs> LA, Korean barbecue Korean mixed with <laughs> mixed with Mexican. Any particular dish you can say is your favorite? That one Probably. That you, say you can have every day one dish. The short rib taco with kimchi. Very specialized. Any drink of choice? The uh, drink. The drink. Aside from water. Uh, changes. Uh, probably a great cup of coffee made with a uh, clover machine. And after my own uh, taste. A Brazilian. Yes. A Brazilian medium roast. Will you ever come back to live in Montreal? I don't believe I can. But we need you. <laughs> <laughs> beg. Well, okay, we'll beg. And also, make me an offer. But you are here to make a film. Who knows, you might get more opportunities. We have a big, I mean, in Montreal. Uh, it's, it's Would I like to work more often here? Yes. There you go. Well, that's living, isn't it? At our age, you're yes, living. I guess you know, so. work. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you, Byron. We'll see you in the late. We'll come and have one of those tacos with you. Absolutely. <laughs>